Condemned Remains. What's so, up? Brutal death metal Hello. band from Cheyenne, Wyoming. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us. Oh, yeah, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, man. You guys are getting ready to play here at Bar Bar in a couple hours, about an hour or so. Something yes, like sir. that. Along with Hatchet and Ex Mortis. Party time. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Hell yeah, breaking hearts, tough and farts. <laughs> right on. Out. Yeah. Like ass boozing and butthole bruising. <laughs> yeah. Right on. <laughs> well, uh, for fans out there that don't uh, aren't familiar with you guys' history and all that, can you give us a bit of an origin story on Condemned Remains and uh, how, how you came to be? For sure. Condemned Remains, old school, started around 2002-2003 uh, area. I used to play bass in a band called Dead Speak there in Wyoming and uh, left that band and did uh, Condemned Remains, old school, with more of a white dying fetus type of, type of style of music and stuff. and. Uh, that went on the shelves, joined a band called Dethroned, uh, based out of here out of Denver with Dave Otero from Cerberus fame and uh, Christ Butcher from Ex-Communion, Mavis, and uh, Ben Wilson, Suicide Virus, Dead Speak also, and the now I'm on Butcher Records we did, I Shall Remain Unforgiven, and then that band disbanded, and then brought Condemned Remains back, and a couple different lineup changes for us to where we're at now, kind of a, a mixture of black metal and, and, and death metal mixed in with like the gore and, and the brutality and stuff like that. And it brings, you know, with everyone now, with myself on guitars and Josh Damey on drums and Ben on vocals and Zach on bass. And this is the solid Condemned Remains lineup at the time right now. So I'm working on new material. We've got two EPs under our belts so far. Just a couple older one. ones. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. soon. Hopefully <laughs> sooner the better. Right. Yeah. Looking for yeah. some splits to do with any bands or down one, do like, you know, do stuff. Are you working toward a full length or? Yeah, we have plenty of material yeah. compiled yeah. for a full length already. Probably got about about ten songs for full length and probably about four to five for another EP and you know, various splits and stuff like that. So. You guys so. play out in Denver live quite a bit. It seems like fairly yeah, often. Quite a bit. Yeah, we got Denver, Colorado scene, awesome scene, and we love being down here. I also play bass in a band called Despise the Sun, so I'm bass going down to Colorado Springs from Wyoming going on tour with those guys and stuff and then want to get condemned on that level going on towards everybody else and stuff like that instead of just playing the Wyoming and Colorado areas like that. Right. Yeah. You know, we played fest in the past as far as West Texas Death Fest, there in Amarillo, Texas and everything. It's been a couple of years since we've been out and stuff like that. We kind of had been on hiatus for a while and now we're, you know, coming back and Nice. <laughs> Do you have any touring plans specifically coming up, or any shows you, you want to talk about, or? Nothing that we know of. Whatever comes up, I guess. Yeah, we're all kind of kind of busy dudes ourselves, and like I said, you know. Sucks about trying to make yeah. that shit happen. Yeah. Jobs and fucking family. Get all there. Family it's like stuff. harder yeah. to find time for it or make time. Yeah, I'm the seminator. I got four kids myself, so. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> But <laughs> other babies populating and stuff. You know? <laughs> Death metal butcher by day and the chef and baker and shit. Baby maker by night. Yeah, baby maker by night. Ladies, what's up? Down Sometimes early morning. Animal, yeah. 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 <laughs> what's happening and shit. Well, you know the the EPs and everything that we have right now, like. Uh, they're not exactly relevant to what we're doing right now because they're so old. I'm Correct. not even. I, I'm sure. the newest member in the band, so right. I'm not even on those EPs. Yeah. So we want to come out with new material, some new merchandise <clears> before <throat> we start hitting the road hard. You know, that way we have something to offer that, that actually represents right. what we sound like now. Yeah. So that's yeah, kind of one of more. We were kind of not doing too much. Now we're finally doing a little more. Hopefully more yeah. comes up yeah. next Sticking year. With it, yeah. Kind of winter time now. It's kind of time to write some music. Hopefully yeah. we record soon for the next couple months, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, because we're looking at least, at least put an EP out, like, short-term frame coming up, just so we can get at least two or three songs out, just to represent what we're doing now. Right. You, you listen know, to the old shit, and, you know, it's... Like, I mean, it's, it's us, best. but, you right. know, to people who've never heard us before, it's, like Josh said, it's not a very good representation of where we're at right now and what we're striving to, to be at, so... Definitely well said, young man. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I, I got an A in English, actually. <laughs> Fairly, very eloquent. I showed up to that class. <laughs> I feel like that showed up to you. 
So uh, we had a chance to go up to the Wolves of Apocalypse uh, Festival Day One this year and see, um, you know, so be up in Cheyenne and, and sort of be part of that metal scene for a day. Right. And we really had a great time. Can you tell us a little bit about the Cheyenne metal scene and kind of? I think that's the only music scene <laughs> I, I would say that has actually fucking been consistent through Cheyenne. Yeah. Uh, I, there's always been a bunch of fucking metalheads there. I hope there always will be. But uh, I mean, you know, we got bands that I was looking up to, fucking Dead Speak and shit. You yeah. know, I know these guys were too. He was fucking playing in it. Yeah. I'm the, I remember I'm getting the my old man <laughs> of the band, getting my parents to fucking drive me out to the shows, or just going into Ernie's. If you guys been there, best record store ever to exist anywhere. Um, just telling Keith, give me some fucking brutal shit to listen to. You know, going home with Goat Horse CDs and fucking, of course, Cannibal Corpse and all that shit. You know, there's always been people. It's like you know, with death metal, you ain't gonna hear it on the radio. If someone shows you. And luckily in Cheyenne, I mean, that was what I was exposed to as a kid, death metal, like death and black metal. And then looking at, you know, bands like Fall of Carnage here and shit, you know, I just remember fucking loving that shit, you know, so, I don't know, I think Cheyenne's strong there, we just need, I don't know, bands, like, are up and down. Yeah, it's uh, kind of hit the <laughs> scene, you never know what's going to happen, I guess, now, so, got to start, it's kind of not been too many shows there lately, but... When it starts picking up, it starts going a little uphill, and it seems like something makes it go down or some shit. But, you know, it's a, it's a conservative know. culture yeah. in Cheyenne, right. so we're constantly fighting an uphill battle to, you know, have a venue that sticks around longer than a year and a half before it gets shut down. You know, right. constantly battling cops or neighbors, dumb Everything. fucking kids, yeah. dude. Yeah. And it, so it makes it harder, but there is a very passionate circle. That just keeps it going, you know. And what right. we, now, now what we need are successful the, musicians. <laughs> now what we need are the younger kids getting into the same stuff that we grew up with, you know, and starting their own bands. Cause man, they're just falling off. Well, like, the, the re sorry, to interrupt you, but the record store is something the kids aren't even thinking about going to anymore. When I was a kid, that's where I went. I didn't even have a fucking computer. I would go in there and say, hey, this is what I'm listening to. What should I be listening to? Or yeah. what do you recommend? Now it's like, oh, fuck yeah. You kill any dead, fucking download for free. You know, they don't know any better. They don't even go out to the shows, you know. So they have no one to look up to, and they don't really care. You know, they're that, it's that hot topic culture. They don't even support fucking Ernie's. They go to the mall and buy their CDs because they heard something on... You know, some Flavor of the Week deathcore band put something out and they went and fucking saw whoever was related to them. It's, it, that's kind of, at least in my mind, Garbage. that's why the kids aren't picking it up, at least, you know, in Cheyenne. Most of them. There are some, but... So, I mean, you guys, um, how do you feel about the Denver scene? Can you talk a little bit about your feelings? Yeah, I love Denver scene. Yeah, yeah. this fucking place is ever. It's probably one of my favorite places to play down here. This place is fucking awesome. Yeah. Bar -bar. Bartender rules. Right. right. People down here are always cool. Dude. It's, a, it's a party, so it's nice. So. I Good like location. Denver. Yeah. It's a nice it's little trip. a fucking adventure. Yeah. Right. Right here. Hang out. Puff. Play oh, some yeah. music. I've played quite a few places down here with Dethrone. I said we've done, you know, Gothic, you know, headline play with Venom there. Nice. Fucking Bluebird back in the day, the Ogden, play all those venues too. Yeah, and I like, you know, these smaller ones where I am more have more fun, just more party atmosphere, more hang out and everything. And, uh, yeah, and I think Denver also has, there's different cliques and different genres, but everyone, you see the same faces at the shows, which is cool. And it's more consistent. The, yeah, and more, more solidarity is, uh, and that's what's up. You know, that's what's up. You know, the scene drive. You know, it's awesome. Fucking shit ton of dope bands down here. They got like Dope Runner coming up, all these new bands showing up, Eminent Terror, and all these guys, I can't even name them all, but it's an eye of Minerva, yeah, you know, it was, I mean, there's just so much talent in this area, you know, I despise the sun, right. all oh my god, those cats, Duck Me Fantasy, even though I know they're on Hayes at the moment, but, Legion of Death, Zombie yeah, Abraham, yeah, yeah. Old Schoolers, you know, and just, it's amazing, X Brigade, you know? we should come back, see what happens with that. Uh, yeah. All those guys, definitely. Yeah. Um, tonight we have a couple bands from out of town here, uh, Hatchet and Ex Mortis. Are you guys familiar with? Oh, yeah, California style. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm from yeah, Cali yeah, originally, so transplanted yeah. here, ex military and shit. Yeah. We're big fans of Ex Mortis. We have them for yeah, years, yeah, and I have, I've never gotten to see them live, so I'm really excited. Hell yeah, it's solid. Um, yeah. 
I'm happy to be able to share the stage with them. It's yeah, fucking awesome. Yeah. Deal before the steal. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Solid. Cool. We really appreciate you guys taking the chance. Thank you very much. Taking the time to uh, speak with us this evening. Thanks for having us. Appreciate it. Hope you have a slam and a good show. Thank you. <laughs> no pun intended. You guys, you guys are always sick. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Looking that. forward to seeing uh, Ben's uh, vocal <laughs> performance as always. Right. Yeah. 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 He's yeah. actually not yeah. sick yeah. tonight, too. Yeah. 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 And I have to get drunk. So. Yeah. Full, full body death metal <laughs> participation. <laughs> Correct. I would say. Backyard Ram <laughs> system. Yeah. 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 I've been on his fucking head. Yeah. 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 Thanks for the opportunity, Matt. We appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Hail Denver Heavy Metal Society. Yeah. As always. You guys are fucking killing it. Definitely, definitely time. Well, thank you guys. Hell yeah, thank you. Have a great thanks, show. Thanks, right, right on. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, guys. <laughs>